Hi there, glad you joined us. In this video, we are going to talk about a technical indicator called the stochastic oscillator. Some investors are very dedicated to the price charts as they try to navigate the world of the stock market. They need many tools to help spot when a stock is getting overheated or undervalued and when it might be ready to change direction. Enter the stochastic oscillator, a nifty little tool that can help you do just that. Developed by a guy named George Lane back in the 1950s, the stochastic oscillator measures the momentum of a stock's price movement. It's like a pulse monitor for your investments, telling you if things are speeding up or slowing down. The stochastic oscillator has two main lines, percent %K, the fast line, and percent %D, the slow line. These lines dance around a scale from 0 to 100. When they get above 80, it means the stock might be overbought and it could be time to take a breather. On the other hand, when they dip below 20, the stock might be oversold and a rebound could be on the horizon. At the extremes, the oscillator is a hint about overbought or oversold, but that's not all it can do. The stochastic oscillator can also be hinting about direction when the percent %K line crosses above the percent %D line. It's a bullish signal, suggesting the stock might be ready to go up. Conversely, when the percent %K line crosses below the percent %D line, it's a bearish signal, hinting at a potential downward move. For viewers who want a little more, hang on, we've got some details. But first, please like and subscribe. During strong trends, the stochastic may remain in overbought or oversold territory for extended periods. This doesn't necessarily mean an immediate reversal is imminent. Some traders use a double stochastic by applying the stochastic formula to the result of an initial stochastic calculation, which can help smooth out signals. But that's getting pretty advanced. Try out the basics first. The purpose of the stochastic oscillator is to be used to identify potential exit points or entry points for trades, such as when the lines cross back from extreme levels. But it takes some experience to get it right. Combining stochastic signals with volume analysis can provide additional confirmation of potential reversals. Here are some ideas on best practices. 1. Don't rely solely on the stochastic oscillator. Use it as part of a comprehensive trading strategy. 2. Be patient and wait for confirmation of signals, especially in volatile markets. 3. Practice using the stochastic on historical data to understand its behavior in different market conditions. 4. Be aware of the limitations of the indicator particularly its lag in fast-moving markets. Five, adjust the settings based on the specific asset and time frame you're trading. Six, use the stochastic in conjunction with support and resistance levels for more accurate entry and exit points. Seven, be cautious of divergences as they can sometimes persist for extended periods before a reversal occurs. To wrap it up, the Stochastic Oscillator is a versatile and powerful tool for investors and traders when used correctly. It provides valuable insights into price momentum and potential reversal points, but like all technical indicators, it should be used as part of a broader analytical approach. By understanding its calculation, interpretation, and limitations, traders can effectively incorporate the Stochastic Oscillator into their trading strategies to make more informed decisions in the financial markets. So please subscribe if this helps at all, and we'll be making more videos soon. Thanks for watching.